Hey, this is Scott with ProspectReview.com. I'm here at Enter by 2015 and the North by Northwest booth sponsored by Yakima. So with me is Jill from Pronet Cycling. Jill, thanks for coming over. Great to see you, Scott. It's good to see you too. Now you brought over a trainer for us to look at. And which one is this? This trainer is actually from Elite and it's their real axiom. I chose this one specifically to talk about today just because I know your your viewing audience is all cyclocross, which we had our race last night and had a big turnout, which was very cool. Wasn't that awesome? That was amazing. These people, I mean, they're athletes like none other. I mean, they make yeah, they make everyone look like child's play. So this one's really cool because this is an indoor trainer. You hook your bike right up here. And you don't take the train, you don't take the wheel off, which is nice. So you just stick it right on. We've got a magnet, which is really fun, but it's interactive. And as you have, where was that little Bluetooth here? This little component right here is a Bluetooth, so it's totally wireless. So there's not a whole lot, and it interacts with the computer. And so as you put in a real video, which is HD, basically what it does is it talks to the train, to the magnet, and it creates resistance. So you can go out and literally video your own cyclocross course and then download it into the computer and then it will talk to the, it will actually correlate to the magnet and create the resistance. So let me get this straight. So I can go out, so if I'm like racing the Cross Crusade at the Alpha Rose and I go and I pre-ride the course two weeks in advance or three weeks in advance, I can actually have that and be training on it before my race? Exactly. That's the cool part. And this trainer I think is pretty unique because it has what we call dancing feet. You want to push on that right there? You're starting over there. So with cross training, like road cycling is kind of boring. You're just riding on the road. Mountain biking, you're hopping over rocks. But cyclocross, you're doing everything. You're moving in and out of the saddle, jumping off the bike. So this, this trainer actually gives you a lot of motion. So you feel like you're actually with the, the trail with the with the race course you're on, that you're, you're on. on the course. You're it's going to give you a realistic uh, sensation. Now, there's one thing that you can't see there that's because it's facing me. Is it? It says the swing system and it says hard and soft. And there's a knob here, guessing that you can adjust the freedom on this. Absolutely. So someone like you would probably dampen this a little bit. No, just a little. But you like to eat. I'm starving, so I don't eat. All I eat is lettuce. So I'll literally take this down and I'll loosen it up so my weight can really make it difference. Which is cool. But what's even funner is if you want to race me, which I know that would probably be pretty hard, but because you live in where? Portland. Yeah, and I live in Vegas. So that would be hard to train together, right? Yeah. But what we could do is we could meet online. Yeah, two o'clock, be there, right? And we could literally race on the internet the same course. Huh. That's kind of fun. That is. It is that, very that fun. Is, that is kind of fun. So we could actually have a virtual play date. Play date. I love virtual, that. Virtual now, race date. A race date. And I'll be there. Two o'clock. Nice. All right. So I do have another trainer that I want to show you. This one is specifically indoors. Okay. And, and by the way, they do have over 80 high def videos that they can uh -huh. download with this. And they've got videos from all over the world from other people that have done rides. So, so you can share. Absolutely. And you can share with up to eight people. So let me get this straight. Not only can I pre-ride the races that I'm running, that my upcoming races, Correct. and train on them, right. but let's say I wanted to spend my honeymoon in the French Alps. Exactly. Or the Pyrenees. So I could actually be training on Alpe d'Huez before I actually get to Alpe d'Huez. Yes, and what's really fun with their software, because I'm not a climber, is you'll be doing that 20% grade and the magnet will actually feel like you're doing that 20% grade, and when you get out of your saddle and you're trying to climb it, it feels more real. But if you're not a climber and you're more of a sprinter, you can actually program it to do a less percent, which is fun. So you, you can bring it down. You can bring it down, exactly, which is nice. So if you're not peak training and you're just trying to slowly get up to that, but you've got the scenery of the HD of the Pyrenees, which is beautiful. Oh yeah. Yeah, Absolutely. That's, that's right. Now this one's kind of fun because when you do go to your races, you have to have a trainer. So this one's your trainer that you would take to the races. This is an outdoor trainer. So this one is basically the same thing. It's a quick release, right? So you just uh -huh. put your bike in and you've got the you've got the magnet right here. Right. So same kind of principle, it's just a more portable trainer. The other one's a lot heavier. 
Now, one thing I'm noticing on this is that the uh, the design is a little bit different, the design concept. The other one was more of a triangle, you know, soft war kind of thing. Like, yes. Yeah, and the, and the other ones are, and most of the other trainers are like that as well, but this seems, this is a swing arm, so it, it almost seems to be, and this doesn't move, right? right? This looks fixed, so that means you're held on with your own body weight. Correct, So Absolutely. there's no spring tension, you gotta torque that down or which, anything. Which is the beauty of this. So you're not gonna blow through your tires, your, your training tires. Right, so you're gonna get the same resistance every time because it's you, your, your, your bike and your body weight supplying that. Correct, absolutely correct. But right. you're changing the... Well, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but the tension the when you load up the spring is all the, you. Is all you. Yep. So it's all you. So you never have to make sure you have turn turn that spring five right. times. Which is what gives it the quiet sound too. I think all of our trainers are, are really quiet overall. I mean, we didn't bring the, the direct drive fluid trainer, which we have over the booth. Right. Only because it's a moose to carry. But that one is it's smooth. There's no, there, you don't have any of the slip. With this one or any of them, so our trainers are really quiet. So the other thing I've noticed about this is that this uh, where the wheel sits, mm -hmm. it's not machined out aluminum. It's this soft. What is that? It's an elastomer. It's an elastomer. So what's the significance of that? You know, a good question, Scott. Actually, what this will do is it will give a 20% reduction in wear on your tire, which every every cyclist that's probably the biggest like angst for them. I know. So, and because it's it's bendable, goes back and forth, you can put any size tire on. Oh yeah, yeah, so I could put, a, so like a 20 inch, yeah. go back. Or a 29 29. -er. Right, a 29 -er. 20. 20, do it again. 29. 29. Nice, I love it. I'm smart. You are good. Anyway. So, and we have, I mean, besides all of our trainers, we have a lot of other products that okay. you might not be aware of. So let's get that out the of the Trainers way. break. We have some ozone kind of cream. We've got chamois cream. We've got warm-up gel. Tone we, cream. Competition yeah. What's, so after. So this is This post. is the after. That, that's, that actually helps create a comfortable I've to learned, your muscles. I yeah. learned my lesson to you. Point away. Oh, point away. Very good. It's got a, it's got a very nice smell. So ozone usually well. doesn't. Ozone has a specific smell, but I've noticed that this doesn't carry that same ozone smell. Mm -hmm. um, and ozone is actually anti-inflammatory. Oh. Besides being like antibacterial. So for chamois, that's a good thing. Chamois cream. Oh, that does smell nice. Yeah. It's very good. I love the little I get, I've learned my lesson. Plastic. I've learned yep. my lesson. Oh, believe, believe, believe me, I've like, you know, I've, I've had them explode on me. They like really get shipped from somewhere else. Isn't that nice? Oh, that is nice. Yeah. That's nice. It's not that menthol that burns no, your eyes. No, yeah, and, and you're like all. It's like, oops. See, I thought I learned my lesson, but apparently I had it. Have it on the arms, go ahead. No, no. I... Have it on your hands. <laughs> now, so, I, will, I will confess, I did cheat a little bit on this one. You did? Yeah, I did. So, okay, tell me how you cheated. I cheated on this. I want to scoot over a little bit because... The water on the, on the, is it, well, is the water bottle that you cheated or on the water bottle hold? On the water bottle, hold well, both, both, right. because you guys, you guys came over here a little bit, and we had a little discussion, and we talked about some products. But this is actually, this is actually pretty cool because um, it's uh, everybody wants a really light cage, right? Everybody wants the cool carbon stuff like that. But those, those cages are like they break, but they're also like fifty dollars and more, so they're pretty expensive. This is nylon. It weighs about the same as a carbon cage. And um, it's pennies on the cost. It, it's like twenty bucks or something it's, like that. It's, I want to say it's fifteen. I think it's fifteen. It's, it's fifteen 20. or twenty. Yeah. It's fifteen or twenty. So it's really light. But the cool thing is, it's like where this, how this thing actually grabs a bottle. So if you if you'll zoom in a little bit, I want to show a couple of points on this. See this lip right here? It, it's like a clamp. And then this right here is also like a clamp too. And then this brings it in a little bit. It's like an elastomer. So when you put this in. See how I have, I have to, it grabs all the way around the bottle. So it's actually grabbing the bottle like this. Yep. This thing ain't coming out. It comes out pretty easy, but not not too easy. And uh, I like I like that a lot. And it's, and I it's like that it flexes. It does. But then it, it, it goes clamps back. on. Yeah. So, so you're is, not going to have one on the trail. And you know, um, 
your uh, your guy told me the reason they said that is because not all bottles are the same size. They'll they'll come in different sizes, be just a little bit bigger or just a little bit smaller, and so it's it's more difficult to get them to fit just right. And this actually fixes that problem. Absolutely, it's because this is a, this is what adjusts right here. Yeah, I don't this know is, if they can tell that that's kind of, that's a different kind of you know plastic. What, you know what this is like? These are like uh, this is like your sternum and your in your rib cage. See how you when you expand your rib cage, your sternum's here. So this little piece acts. Like that. We're going back to staying to. Well, I am an exercise physiologist, so I mean, you know. I'm just thinking CPR. CPR, stay alive. Stay alive. All right. right. <laughs> well, Jill, thanks for coming over. It's always been a fun. Thanks, I always Scott. see you every year. It's, it's good to see you again. This is great. Thanks for having us. This is Scott with CrossbackReview.com. I'm here at Interbike 2015. Come by, see the reviews, watch the videos. We'll see you guys later.